Ew, Asians don't put fruit on rice. That's a white person thing to do. Oh, you teenagers are making me as an older Asian American that's more educated than you so mad. I'm going to make a post about this on Reddit. Uh, um, what's Reddit? We got to talk about this post that says there is more than one way to make rice. And this person, Andrew, is an older Asian American. Obviously, they're very cultured. They understand that some Asians put fruit on rice. Actually, all Asians put fruit on rice, even though those aren't the most common, well-known dishes. So they were mad at seeing some other teenage Asian Americans try to separate themselves from white people by saying people, white people are the only people who would eat rice pudding with cranberries and cherries on it. Mm. So basically, this turned into a whole debate about... Do Asians even know about the other way that other Asians make rice and the way that the usage of rice has spread all across the world? And should we gatekeep rice? Should we not gatekeep rice? What is basic Asian knowledge? And we don't want to turn into white people making fun of white people. All right, everybody, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we talk about this. But one thing that every generation can agree on, whether you're Gen Z or Gen Alpha, it's Smala Sauce, Smala Chili Oil. It's a finishing oil made with truffle, guys. Check out the Instagram right now at Smala Sauce. You can also buy it at SmalaSauce.com. Can you even put that on American fruit rice, though? Yeah, you can put this on anything, literally. Uh, but anyways, I guess, David, like, yeah, first of all, a couple questions. Gatekeeping rice, kind of hard because rice is just a global thing. They eat it in South America. It is true that 90% of the world's rice production comes out of Asia, though. Yeah, but I mean, the South in America, Uncle Ben, that was a popular rice brand, you know. That was weird for me growing up because I was like, I always knew rice as Asian. And then I'd see these commercials for Uncle Ben's Minute Rice, and I'd be like, is Uncle Ben part Asian? But you know what I mean at first. But um. And then Did you even know that there was American fruit rice? Like, I guess, long story short, we got to explain, Andrew. The OP is an older Asian American who's, I guess, deeply familiar with Asian Asian cuisine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And witnesses these Asian American kids who are more limited in their scope of understanding, who are almost trying to have the white kid attitude, but towards white people. Right, right, right. They're, or they're almost like trying to separate and judge white people for being like not doing rice properly, right, right? Because they're probably looking at Cozy Shack rice pudding, which is delicious, by the way. One of my favorite American brands of pudding, Cozy Shack. Um, and then I guess they put like fruit in it. I don't know. I don't know. I never even had that at a white person's house. I didn't know white people ate fruit in rice. I, I do think they, they had put rice. cinnamon and raisins yeah. with a little bit of rice. Oh, okay. Cinnamon, raisin, you're right, and rice pudding, yeah. And, and maybe more from uh, Eastern Europeans that have immigrated to America, yeah. like more originally. And honestly, originally, if you want to take the turn the clock way back, that dish might have came from Asia, somewhere in South Asia, too. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right? I mean, rice pudding, that idea of rice pudding. The kir pudding. and things like that. Yeah, it might have came from kir. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, I guess it's, one, I did not know that actually white people put real fruit into pudding other than raisins. And then I think that just like generation alpha or gen Z or whatever generation you want to call it, like they're not exposed to that much yet. They haven't lived life a lot. And I do think that for the millennial generation and gen Z, there was a very pan Asian uh, identity where it's like, yo, try to know about other Asians. But I don't know if the next, next generation of Asians is thinking that. But maybe they're just not there yet. I mean, we were all ignorant kids at one point, too. Literally, when you were a kid, you have a very small knowledge base. But, Andrew, this person, OP, was mad. They said, this was some of the most ignorant-ish I've ever heard Jeez. in my life. Triggered. Um, um, so anyway, of course, this person went on to list that there's Filipino kakanin, Andrew, uh, Thai mango sticky rice, fruit kheer in daisy countries, Korean yakshik, Chinese baba alfan, Vietnamese have a coconut oh. uh, raisin rice coconut version thing, and Japanese fruit daifuku, as well as umaboshi onigiris, and mm. different things like this. So this person was basically like, why the heck would these Asian teenagers think that Asians also can't put fruit on rice, huh? No, I think the OP and is probably Probably a little bit older they're just mad to, at seeing asians grow up in america and start reacting like white kids but towards the white kids yeah but, they but they're might... still adopting that sort of like what is it would you say i don't want to say punk or more dominant i'm superior your inferior attitude yeah. but they're but they're like flipping the uno card yeah. on the white kids themselves yeah and i guess for us growing up i never thought about saying you to white people food even meatloaf, guys, I guess we were just exposed to it, even though some people might eat at meatloaf. But, like, I guess, you know what I mean? But, like, it never occurred to me that that, even rice, the idea of rice pudding was gross. But these kids, I'm assuming, David, are not, like, 
Thai Asian kids. You know how like if you're if your family's Thai, you probably definitely had mango sticky rice. Right, before. and it's not to say that all Generation Alpha or all young Gen Z Z Z kids are yeah. even doing this. Yeah, right? But I'm not saying that all these Asian rice dishes, these these fruit rice dishes, are super common. Like we don't eat the Chinese eight treasure rice that often. Like I've had it. Well, maybe, you have to go to more like specialized yeah, spots. Yeah, like I've had it, it like ten times in my life. Honestly, you know what I mean. So it's not that. It's not like we ate it all the time. Yeah. So I guess they're just not exposed to it yet. And also the discussion sort of spiraled into Uncle Roger's first viral video where he sort of roasted this South Asian British woman mm. for cooking fried rice. And, and he roasted her and he went so viral off that. But it, it actually came out that she was cooking rice just a very South Asian biryani way. Mm. But that is a little bit strange for fried rice. But if you're South Asian, you may only just cook it that way. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, let's get into the comment sections, David. This first comment I thought was actually really funny. Someone said, I definitely get upset about rice mixed with cheese. It grosses me out for and some And interestingly reason. enough, Andrew, uh, because Hong Kong specifically and the Japanese in Tokyo had so much explo exposure with the British, you can find cheesy rice with sausages in both places. Bro. Or, or cheesy rices with a pork chop or something. You know, at my elementary, I told you this, that during lunchtime, one of the options was cheesy rice. You could get a side of cheesy rice. And to me, when I saw that, I'm not going to lie, as a kid, I was kind of like, cheesy rice? I only know rice with soy sauce. I know rice eating right. with fish. I know ri fried rice. But I was like, cheesy rice? And then... But it's funny because at the same time, growing up, I loved macaroni and cheese. And macaroni and rice are essentially not that different. Right. Right? They're carbs that carry flavor. That's it's it. essentially the same. It's just a different form. Yeah, it's just a different form of, of a different wheat. Yo, some of the right. kids would go crazy for the cheesy Dude, some rice. some kids <laughs> love cheesy rice. And actually, I would eat some cheesy rice today. It's not that... It's not that that would be hey, my preferred dish. But hey, shout out to what? Michael Meninsky? Oh, this... Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Russian kid. Russian right? kid. Yo, Man, he, he loved, he loved the cheesy rice. Yeah. I mean, I would say this. I just don't understand why Asians would um, like gatekeep rice. I feel like noodles makes more sense because okay. you have to do about like 10 things to a bunch of rice to turn it into a noodle. Right, right, right. I feel like rice is so base level. It's almost like... Obviously, there's not that many steps between harvesting the rice and it becoming the rice. So why is there, are everybody going to gatekeep something that's so close to the core? Yeah, rice noodles are very, very Asian, but rice, it is Asian, but not, I mean, they eat it in South America, they eat it in the South, they eat it all over the world now, man. Right, somebody's saying, what do you think, uh, should this older OP even be judging Asian American teenagers for trying to be edgy and trying to develop some sense of tribal self-identity? So Even saying, though they are, ultimately, they're wrong, right? Some people are trying to defend these young Asian teens and being like, well, they're just trying to be proud of being Asian, and this is their little ignorant. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, bro. They unless they went up to a group of white kids and started being, like, "Oh, rice pudding, rice pudding people, you guys right. put," and then started making their eyes all. Oh, round you guys put fruit in rice. You guys are disgusting. Obviously, they didn't do that, but you know, they're just trying to find community and you know, uh, uh, camaraderie. Do you somehow. think one of the problems with being a second generation immigrant, Andrew, is that you know you're not white, but nobody really sits you down and gives you like an Asian 101, 102, 103 education? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, even Asian American studies is not going to teach you that Asians do indeed put fruit on rice in some dessert dishes, right? Like, nobody who's going to teach you, like, no. what, what, what course in your normal schooling outside of like your relatives sitting you down and like schooling you on everything is going to teach you any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know for sure. Um, of course, Andrew, this turned into a debate about uh, Uncle Roger judging, like we said, the South Asians for cooking this thing and there's no real right or wrong way to cook rice. There is but not you could kind of still get big on it because enough, I guess not everybody knows everything about every other Asian and everybody's arguing. Obviously the OP is arguing in favor of a very large pan Asian knowledge base. Yeah. I, is it, do you expect every Asian to know everything about every other Asian or is it I, just, I think it would be better though. Or is it, it would be better. No, if, but is it just that you just don't want to see Asians act this way? You don't want to see Asians act ignorant but you also can understand that, like, what, are these kids supposed to know how every culture cooks rice already at the ripe age of 15? Like, in, and if they're, let's say, to be honest, if they're all Chinese or all Korean or whatever, like, we don't know what Asian these kids were. They're not exposed to every other Asian culture yet. Right, right. I guess, 
I don't know. It's a diff. It's a good question, but that's why we try to make the material that we do in a more pop fashion, so it's more universally accessible. Um, somebody brought up a Bo Burnham lyric, Andrew, because they were talking. This, this spiraled into a discussion about Uncle Roger. This guy said, uh, "Yeah." Everybody knows that it's easy to uh, make get a laugh with a white crowd because you, if you're Chinese, just do a Chinese accent and then everybody laughs at the Chinese accent because privately they think that your people are laughable and now you've given them a chance to express it in public. So this person was, this, this went into like a little bit of a derivative discussion about people just doing accents for laughter or people mm -hmm. that are Asian judging other Asians for laughter. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, obviously Bo Burnham was saying it's possibly because the mainstream crowd thinks your people are already laughable and you've given them the opportunity to laugh at people. I think that's partially true. But I think that's partially true. It's definitely but, part of it. Right, right, right. But if you do come from that group, do you have ownership over that laughability? If that's how the Western world views your group is to be laughable? Because... I hear that discussion sometimes with the Cantonese accent, because if you are Cantonese, why shouldn't you be able to do it? But it's true that people consider people with that Hong Kong, you know, the choppy Cantonese accent, not to be serious. People. They don't take that group of people serious that sound like that. Yeah, it's complicated, guys. It is. There's a lot of valid arguments on both sides. Somebody said, why do people on Reddit, specifically the Asian American subreddit, be so sensitive about what other people think or say when it comes like this? Yes, it's ignorant, but it's not that big of a deal. Right. Why? What You do see this on Reddit a lot, right? Yeah. Do you think it's people who are overeducated? Perhaps they're not that capitalistic, so they have all this time to dedicate in their mind to, like, things in the world that are not how they would like them to be? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, what do you think? I, I feel like that a lot of... There's a lot of cultured people out there, and they wish that everybody else was as cultured as You're they were. You're saying this person, this OP, might be 8, 9, or 10 out of 10 on the pan-Asian or pan-global cultured scale. They, I mean, they know about Cozy Shack. They know about Pulau in Central Asia. You know what I mean? They know all honest, about Daifuku in Japan. This whole Reddit post could be a somewhat low-key flex to show how much the OP knows. I can't believe these kids don't know about Filipino kakanin or the Thai mango sticky rice or they've never had fruit cure and I've had it. I've right, you're it. saying some sort of world yeah. cultured cuisine superiority yeah, in, yeah, in yeah, that yeah, ladder. Yeah. But I mean, again, like I, I said, like, listen, if you feel like that people need to know things, is it your obligation to step up and let them know? Should she have stepped in and said something? No, I, I don't think she has to in person, but, but what are you doing to spread the word? Right, because what are you doing? Are you creating content or are you correcting these people in person? What are you doing to be a soldier of this mission if you believe in this mission? We believe in this mission, so we make a lot of content and we also talk to people in person. And anytime someone asks me, oh, what's the best of this and this food? I'll try to like try to give them the best answer possible. But what are you doing? Yep, that's a good point. I mean, let's just get into our takeaways, Andrew. It certainly was somewhat ignorant of those kids. And I wish that those teenagers, I hope that they don't adopt almost like, and this is messed up, by the way. It's not, I'm not saying this, but everybody gets what I mean. I hope they don't adopt like a white kid attitude towards white kids. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's not what Asians should do. No. Once they start to have their culture be more popular, or they feel like they've gained the upper hand. Right, right, I right. always tell people, I never like people who are sore losers. And if the leverage were to flip, I hate people being sore winners that used to be sore losers because you're basically having a bad attitude regardless of uh, which way the tide swings in your favor or against your favor. So I would hope that kids don't do that, but it's tough to blame them because their knowledge base, like you said, Andrew, is not there. Who's going to teach it to them? Who's even, gonna Asian, teach it? even Asian American studies doesn't teach you anything about Asian cuisine. Yeah. Um, Are you going to be bold enough to tell those kids, that group of kids, and be like, hey, by the way, guys, there's a lot of different ways that Asians eat fruit on rice. And then they're going to be like, uh, okay. And then you're going to have to let them know. And, and then, but, but, but what if what if they're like, we don't care. And then you're going to be like, oh, I should have never talked to you anyways. You know what this kind of reminds me of? In the early 2000s, Andrew, and a lot of people are not going to remember this, but some of people are. There was a split between AZNs and like the preppy Asians, because the AZNs would call the preppy Asians whitewashed because yeah. they would wear Abercrombie or have white friends or like hiking and rock music. Yes. But oftentimes the preppy Asians were even better at understanding the ancient traditions and language of their ancestral homelands than the AZN kids who probably didn't have as much access to 
like uh, motherland origin schools and things like that. So the, sometimes the preppy kids would be like, what do you mean? You're saying I'm, I'm whitewashed because I grew up in a white neighborhood, but I understand our ancestral homeland on a historical and linguistic basis better than you. Mm. But then the AZNs were like, but all my friends are Asian and we don't act white. You guys act white, so you guys are whitewashed. Mm. So did it go to show you that even back, you know, 20 years ago, Andrew, there was some sort of like weird split and, and different people ranked their own identity different ways. Yeah, exactly. So I guess you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is it that all Asians should know about other Asians' cultures to this level? Or is it just more of like the attitude of these teen kids that probably triggered the OP? Or is this OP just too sensitive, man? Like, honestly, who cares? These kids are young. They'll figure it out. They didn't go and disrespect and vandalize some white rice pudding shops. You know what I mean? Imagine they went up to some kids and slapped the cozy shack with raisins out of their hand. Rice pudding people. Ha, your skin looks like the rice pudding. Why? Oh. Um, anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Are people on Reddit too sensitive or do they make a valid point and all Asians should increase our knowledge not only of Western people eating rice, but other Asians' unique styles of cooking rice. Keep it civil. We encourage the debate. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.